Hey there, security enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we're about to unlock the secrets of seamless integration. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of combining the FiberSense's perimeter intrusion system with the Gentech Security Center. But wait, there's more. We've already uploaded a complete playlist on configuring the FiberSense's APU. So, if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do before joining us on this integration journey. In this video, We'll guide you step by step through the integration process, ensuring your systems work in perfect harmony. From establishing communication to mapping alarm events, we've got you covered. But hey, before we embark on this integration adventure, make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We're your go to channel for all things security, bringing you the latest tech insights to stay ahead of the game. Without any further ado, let's start the video. Run the Gentex Stream Vault control panel and go to the Config tool. Then, log into the Config tool by entering your user credentials. Once you're logged in, navigate to the home screen and go to Plugins. Here, you'll find all the installed plugins for the integration process. If you observe closely, I have two plugins installed. The first one is the Morpho Biometric plugin, which is used to integrate IDEMIA's Morpho Manager. We have uploaded a complete playlist on this integration. The second plugin is the Restricted Security Area plugin. If you don't know how to install plugins for the Security Center, please refer to our Morpho Manager integration playlist. As of now, I have already installed the plugins. If you want to obtain these plugins, please let us know, and we will provide them to you. Once you install the plugins, make sure you obtain a license for FiberSense's APU. Here, I have a license for two panels. To add the panels, go back to the home page and click on Area View. As you can see, I have already added a panel named 145. To add a new panel, click on Add an Entity and then select Tracking System. The Add Tracking System window will appear. Type the name of the panel according to your requirements. For example, I will enter 146. Then, select the type as Fiber Senses from the drop down list and click on Next. Type the IP address of the device and keep the port number as default. Then, click on Refresh to check if the device is online or offline. As you can see, the device is online, so click on Next. Set the auto acknowledge alarm time according to your requirements. Then click on Next. Enable the required events and change the fence configuration color according to your requirements. Finally, click on Next. Once the addition of the panel is completed, you will see the device added into the software. However, it may take some time for the device to become online. Wait for it to come online, and once it's online, extend the device and check the zones. As you can see, I have two zones for each APU. To monitor the fence, you need to configure the maps. For that, upload a map into the security center. If you don't know how to upload maps, I have already uploaded a separate video on this topic. Please watch that video. You can find the link in the description below. Once you have added the map, go to configuration by clicking on its icon from the bottom of the map. Here, you need to draw the physical location of the fence using the shape tools. Once you have added the shapes, assign the border according to the physical installation from the right side menu. Basically, you will select the border of a shape and assign it to a zone of the panel by extending the panel as you can see on my screen.
Once you have done the configuration, click on Save to save the changes. Now, go to the security desk and start monitoring the maps. As you can see, it detects intrusion when we shake the fence. Now, you can create alarms according to your requirements. I hope you understand how to integrate the FiberSense's perimeter intrusion system into Gentech Security Center. Thank you for watching this video on integrating the FiberSense's perimeter intrusion system into Gentech Security Center. I hope you found the information helpful and informative. If you have any further questions or need technical support, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to assist you and ensure a smooth integration process. Simply leave a comment below or visit our website, and our dedicated technical support team will be available to help you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos on security system integrations and updates. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. We appreciate your support and feedback. If you have any suggestions for future video topics or any other comments, feel free to let us know. Once again, thank you for watching and we look forward to assisting you with your security system integration needs. Take care and stay secure.